what advice would you give to researchers uh, trying to develop and publish idea that have a big impact in the world of AI? So maybe um, undergrads, maybe early graduate students. Yeah. I mean, I would say like they definitely have to be a little bit more strategic than I had to be as a PhD student because of the way AI is evolving. It's going the way of physics where, yeah. you know, in physics, you used to be able to do experiments on your benchtop and everything was great and you could make progress. And now you have to work in like LHC or like CERN. And and so AI is going in that direction as well. Um, so there's certain kinds of things that's just not possible to do on the benchtop anymore. And uh, I think... Um, that didn't used to be the case at the time. Do you still think that there's like GAN type papers to be written where like uh, yes. like very simple idea that requires just one computer to illustrate a simple example? I mean, one example that's been very influential recently is diffusion models. Right. Diffusion models are amazing. Diffusion models are six years old. Uh, for the longest time, people were kind of ignoring them uh, as far as I can tell. And uh, they're an amazing generative model, especially in uh, in images. And so stable diffusion and so on, it's all mm -hmm. diffusion-based. Uh, diffusion is new. It was not there and came from, well, it came from Google, but a researcher could have come up with it. In fact, some of the first, actually, no, those came from Google as well. <laughs> uh, but a researcher could come up with that in an academic institution. Yeah, what do you find most fascinating about diffusion models? So uh, for, from the societal impact of the, te uh, the technical architecture. What I like about diffusion is it works so well. <laughs> <laughs> Was that, is that surprising to you? The amount of the variety, yeah. almost the novelty of the synthetic data is generating. Yeah, so the stable diffusion images are incredible. It's yeah. the speed of improvement in generating images has been insane. Uh, we went very quickly from generating like tiny digits to tiny faces and it all looked messed up and now we have stable diffusion. And that happened very quickly. There's a lot that academia can still contribute. Uh, you know, for example, um, Flash attention is a very efficient kernel for running the attention operation inside a transformer that came from ac academic environment. It's a very clever way to structure the kernel uh, that do the, that's the calculation. Uh, so it doesn't materialize the attention matrix. Um, and so there's, I think there's still like lots of things to contribute, but you have to be just more strategic. Do you think neural networks can be made to reason? Uh, yes. Do you think they're already reason? Yes. What's your definition of reasoning? Uh, information processing. Or <laughs> <laughs> so in the way that humans think through a problem and come up with novel ideas, it it feels like reasoning. Yeah. So the, the novelty, I don't, I don't want to say, but out of, out of distribution ideas, <laughs> you think it's possible? Yes. And I think we're seeing that already in the current neural nets. You're able to remix the training set information into true generalization in some sense. That doesn't appear. It doesn't in appear a fundamental verbatim way in, in the, the training, training set. Like you're doing something interesting algorithmically. You're manipulating, you know, some symbols, and you're coming up with some correct, a unique answer in a new setting. What would uh, illustrate to you? Holy shit! This thing is definitely thinking. To me, thinking or reasoning is just information processing and generalization. And I think the neural nets already do that today. So being able to perceive the world or perceive the whatever the inputs are and to make uh, predictions based on that or actions yeah. based on that, that's, that's reasoning. Yeah, you're giving correct answers in novel settings uh, by manipulating information. You've learned the correct algorithm. You're not doing just some kind of a lookup table and there's neighbor search.